I'm Chief Eric English with the Enrico County Police Division. Today, I'd like to share information about changes to our calls for service within the community. In the past, our patrol officers have routinely been put in positions or responded to calls for service where they have no legal authority. At times, this has prevented our officers from responding to other priority calls in a timely and efficient manner, while also leading to a lack of units available to respond to any given call. As a result, members within the Enrico County Police Division have looked at ways to reduce our call volume to provide better, more efficient response times to community members in need. As of Monday, March 18, 2024, in partnership with the Enrico County Department of Emergency Communications, we modified our response to certain calls for service and how those calls are dispatched. We assure you that we are still here supporting the community every day. Animal calls. Any calls for service received between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. will be left as pending until an animal protection officer marks on duty. However, if there is a call about an injured animal or animal attack on a person or other animal, we will dispatch an officer to the area. Loud parties or noise complaints. Previously, we've responded to complaints about noise from children running through an apartment complex or hallways. Starting the 18th, we will no longer respond to these calls. However, if there is a clear violation of the county's noise ordinance, then an officer will respond to the location. Medical emergencies. Our officers will continue to respond to life-threatening crimes in progress. However, if police units are not needed by other first responders, then our presence may be canceled. Additionally, unless there is a criminal allegation, our officers will not respond to complaints against nursing staff at a facility. Service calls. We will no longer be responding to calls regarding individuals lawfully in a median or checking on homeless individuals who appear to be fine. Shoplifting. If the complainant does not have evidence of the crime and it occurred in the past or does not wish to prosecute, officers will not respond to that shoplifting. That does not mean a report can't be filed. We are currently working on an online portal which would allow our community members to submit a report online. Our telephone reporting unit is available to generate a report for documentation purposes at 804-501-4810. Abandoned vehicles. Our patrol units will no longer respond to calls for service about abandoned vehicles or recovered bicycles. Instead, our community policing unit will be assigned to look into those incidents. Marijuana use. Due to current state laws, our officers will no longer respond to calls for marijuana use within a residence. If the caller is reaching out to report a drug transaction that occurred in the past, the information will be forwarded to Crime Stoppers or Police Intelligence for further investigative assignment. However, if there is an active drug transaction, our officers will respond to that location. Juvenile problems. Our patrol officers will no longer respond to calls about juvenile problems without a nexus to crime. This includes, but is not limited, to calls to assist with parenting, truancy, or a request for an officer to speak with the child about the consequences of their actions. Panhandling. Unless the person is violating traffic laws, being disorderly, trespassing or causing a hazard in the roadway, officers will no longer respond to these calls. We understand these changes may take some time to get used to. This will be a learning curve for not only you, our community members, but also for our patrol units and dispatchers in the Department of Emergency Communications. It's important to note that each call will be assessed on a call-by-call -call basis. Based on the aforementioned calls for service, our division could see a decrease of nearly 5,000 calls which would again allow our patrol units to respond to other calls in a more efficient and timely manner. As previously mentioned, we are looking at the creation of an online citizen reporting portal, which would allow you to file your own report with us without having to speak with an officer when applicable. However, there are certain incidents where our officers will need to respond to speak with you or gather evidence. We will keep you informed when the online reporting portal goes live. If you have any questions, about this change in the calls for service, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at police at enrico.us. Thank you.